Well, I mean, there's not much that I can, I can't control everything, and, and I think, you know, it's nice to have a theatrical release, but I think also documentaries, they, they you're kind of lucky if you get that. Um, it it would have been nice, but I think also it's a great time for, for people to enjoy this type of film at, at home, you know, because it's just, there's not a lot of sports going on, and, 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 and you know, people want new material. They want something interesting and new. And I think this, this during the COVID especially, this film will make you think about life a little bit in a different way and 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 reflect. So I think that's that that will be interesting. I just think that intuitively, depending on how how the virus, you know, it feels to people, does it still feel like dangerous or not? And I think people kind of make that judgment in their mind. If it feels like people are still like dying all the time and, and it's unsafe, they're not going to go or they're going to be tentative. It's going to be slow and, you know, but it's when the virus is gone, you know, then people will start going back to the theaters. And the question is, will the theater survive? Is it, Will people think that there's no need for theaters anymore? I'm not sure about that. I'm not. I'm just not sure. Mm -hmm.